Hey guys, this is Kevin Kev D Fitness. And as you know, if you've been watching some of my recent videos where I've shown you my deadlifts and my squats that I've been doing, I've identified, and with the help of my uh, YouTube subscribers and viewers, and I appreciate your help very much, uh, together we've identified a couple, um, a couple things I need to work on form-wise uh, with my deadlifts and my squats. So here I'm showing first, going through my deadlifts, first um, what I identified was that I was raising my hips a little bit and squatting down a little bit too far in my setup to go to do my deadlift. Now this isn't a super major concern if you're doing this guys but what this ends up doing is you squat down you bend forward at the knees and, and you push your knees go forward a little bit when you squat down and the bar comes out a little bit further than it has to. This can put a little extra strain on your back. It's it's not the safest way to deadlift. Um, so this was something that I wanted to cor correct. You know, I want my form, as everybody should, you want your form to be as optimal as possible. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you're going to not have the most perfect form. And, you know, when you're deadlifting 200 pounds, you can, you know, deadlift with absolutely spot on dead you know, perfect form. Um, as, as the weight gets up, sometimes it gives out a little bit, but it shouldn't give, your form shouldn't give out too much. Uh, you don't want to sacrifice uh, your form just to put extra weight on the bar. Then you end up not working the muscles that you're really, really trying to work. And you also put yourself at a higher risk of injury. Uh, and as if you've seen um, one of my more recent videos, which I will, uh, you know, which I'll link up here, um, so if, if you want to take a look, you can see it. Um, I, I talk about how, how really you don't want to get injured. You know, you know, it's the worst thing to uh, for your progress that can really set you back. So as you can see now, just to get back to my deadlifts, I've been just been blathering on here. Um, my, I'm, I'm not raising the hips much at all, if at all, on, on my lift. I'm just, my hips are in position. They're not raising. There, I did a little bit, but for the most part, I'm just pulling. I'm going right into my pull. So, you know, how I did that was just putting my, shooting my hips back and bending over at my back a little bit more. You know, guys, it's a deadlift. You're gonna, you're gonna bend over at your waist. You're gonna bend over at your back, and you're gonna engage your, your lower back. I know sometimes you'll see people talking about, oh, some more deadlifts. They work a lot more glutes, a lot more hamstrings. They do, and and, and not even mention the lower back. But guys, it's still a deadlift. Yeah. It, you know your glutes and hamstrings are 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 more of the prime movers than in a conventional deadlift, but it's it's still a deadlift. You're still working your lower back to to a very large extent. So here I've changed up the angle um, uh, for you guys, so I don't get bored with another shot of me straight on deadlifting. Um, here in this session, this is the third and uh, final set that I'm going to show you. I did a total of four. Uh, I was doing 410 pounds aiming for six reps per set. The first two that I just showed you, I nailed that six, and it was tough. Guys, this 410 felt real heavy. Um, I, just last week, I did 405. I only deadlift once a week. Uh, in the future, I plan to start deadlifting at least two times a week to get the, get my deadlift up. But at the moment, I'm only deadlifting one time a week, and that and I did 405 last week with, uh, with the form that I described earlier, where I was, you know, bringing up the hips, squatting down a little bit more. And it, it was light compared to this. This 410 felt very heavy, and I, I think it was just due to the change in the form. I have to get used to it, so I'm going to stay here. I, I, there, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I just squeezed that one out, but I didn't hitch the weight. Uh, I only got five though, so I'm going to stay here at 410. Come back next week. Hopefully, come in a lot stronger. So I'm going to take you through. I, I brought my camera to film my squats. Partially for me, and partially because I, you know I like showing them on YouTube. Um, as you, I only got one, unfortunately, one set in because my my battery died. It was out in my car and it was cold, and the battery just didn't hold any charge. So my problem on my squats has been my my right knee caves in a little bit, just my right knee, not my left knee. And so I got some great advice from a, from a buddy of mine. He said, "Hey, you know, narrow your stance a little bit, and, and see if that helps." And, I, and just from doing research uh, on the web and, you know, people on on YouTube who've discussed uh, the knees caving in, uh, I, I felt maybe I had my toes pointed out a little bit too much. So I'm not pointing my toes out quite as much 
and I've narrowed my stance and I'm really focusing on trying to be evenly distribute the weight and push off both legs evenly on my way up and I, I, I did pretty good on this as you can see my knees not really caving too much uh, I was you know a little bit in, in, in these later reps but you know it's much less prominent than it was and um, so I, I think I'm making some progress on that I'm just going to continue to work on it and uh, just focus on always trying to keep my form as good as possible so guys, I hope you liked the video please do click like and uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thanks guys I'll talk to you next time